Hey guys, before we start this episode, I just wanted to give you guys a little insight of just how the monsters interact with each other. Uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, I'm not gonna make it too long, so yeah, here's the clip, and after that clip, we'll get on with the episode. So yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Zar, and welcome back to another episode <coughs> of Monster Hunter World. So, we're back here. Oh, my dear hunter, I could kiss you. Slow down there, buddy. I don't swing that way. Thanks to you, all hunters will get to enjoy the new benefits, or the benefits of our specialized tools. Ah, which reminds me, I planted an ancient tr I planted an ancient tree seed mostly out of curiosity, but believe it or not, this time it sprouted. <coughs> they are quite particular in that they draw from surrounding life to grow and perhaps a little fertilizer. I'll spare you the details. What I'm trying to get is: Are there items that you use heavily? <coughs> Perhaps I could leverage a tree's properties and a little fertilizer to grow more of what you need. Just ask and you shall receive. Hunters of the Fifth, come see me. I've got an urgent quest. Uh. What do you mean? Happy to see you around these parts. You've seen our ancient tree before, haven't you? Just when I thought there was a little sprout, it grew into this giant tree in the blink of an eye. Now we're ready for a little research. You want to get your hands on more items, right? We'll use this ancient tree to help us cultivate even more items for you to use. What was it that you needed again? The Botanical Research Center can take your plants, mushrooms, and insects and produce more of them for you. <coughs> oh, yes! Visit the facility and select the item you wish to produce in the amount of time required to produce varies by the item. And the facility will automatically continue growing more of them until you come collect the results. The time required to produce items in advance or advances one unit for each quest you complete. Items will not be produced if your harvest box is full. You can research <coughs> you can use research points to increase the amount of item produced. As the facility level increases, you'll be able to grow more types of items at once. Expanding your harvest box means that you can wait until more items are produced before coming to collect them. Unlocking fertilizers, raising your, or raising your facility level, and expanding your harvest box all have their own requirements. Okay, that should do for that, so enough time uh, wasted on that, let's go over here. What do you want? All right. Hey, welcome back, we've almost finished securing base, only one thing left to do. That's right, your old buddy, Ajanath. Before we attempt to capture Zora Magdaros, we need to hunt that Ajanath down can't have it interfering. It's one tough adversary, so stay on your toes. Oh, before I forget, the chief said he'd be starting, he started putting more protein in your pre-hunt meals, whatever that means. 
Said it should help with your hunts. Either way, drop by the canteen later and find out for yourself. Anyway, a powerful monster like Anjanath won't be easy to take down. Remember well, everything back. you've learned. This objective is urgent, meaning it should be your top priority. Using everything at your disposal, hit that brute with all you got. Okay. Yes, urgent Time missions. To wrap up defending the base. Uh, I don't think that I've explained this before, but urgent missions basically mean in order to advance to the next hunter rank, you need to do the urgent mission to advance into the next hunter rank. That's a big piece of fucking meat. Holy shit. What did you kill for that, a brontosaurus? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, so before we do anything else here, I want to upgrade my armor. I have to upgrade this. I need to get its defense up. So let's upgrade my equipment and I'm going to upgrade my chest armor. Not by much. I really need to get more of those armor stones. We got this. Okay, so the assigned quest here is the Aginath. Anginath. I'm guessing that this is the Devil Joe monster. I'm guessing that he's the replacement for Devil Joe. So, for this mission, I'm going to change my equipment, and I am going to go with Bow. The reason for this is I do not want to be up close to that thing. I want to knock it out from a distance, and I believe that my Bow will do the job. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's swap bows here. And the Kulu bow. Wait, which one's higher in attack? That's 144. Okay, I'm gonna take this bow. Okay, so let us get going here. Yeah, the Aginath <coughs> Anginath is that really funky looking dinosaur guy. He's a fucking T-Rex. There's supposed to be a cutscene with the Anginath. Oh boy. There's a footprint there.
who'd have thought dinosaurs could climb? Yeah, that was a mistake. Wow. Yeah, my character's a fucking idiot. Fucking cunt. Wow, I'm going to murder that dinosaur. Dinosaurs are going to go extinct because of me. Fucking bitch. Something that I forgot to mention, if you die, if you faint during a quest, your HP runs out.
able to walk through that tiny ass cave. big fucking wing on your back. Or sail, or whatever. I'm so scared. The reason why I keep doing that avalanche attack so much is because it does a lot of damage to him. Devil Joe's fire or cancer breath attack. some very bad indigestion there. Gotta heal. Let's save behind this tree.
Ooh, this guy is taking a little while to kill. Not me, not me. Ow. Dragon Tail. It wasn't effective. <laughs> Come on, Dino Dork. Dino Dick. Apparently me taunting him had no effect either. Zar used taunt. It had no effect. <laughs> Hey, Dino Dick. head A word of advice, <clears throat> uh, if you have Fire Blight on you and you roll around in water, it instantly puts out the Fire Blight. Come on, I want to take that dinosaur for a ride. actually can climb. <coughs> Wait, where'd he go? Oh, okay. 
Oh my god. He almost fire blasted me in the face. Oh my god, he actually met out. Nope, he didn't miss. The fire from his mouth got me. So technically he did Oh my god. that guy's day. Yeah, if you guys don't know, that's Rathalos. Just won't leave him alone. He's like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Rathalos is like, ah, get your fucking ass back here. I'll teach you for, for sitting in my nest, bitch. <laughs> Dinosaur would be weak against a wyvern. <laughs> Don't you? Wow, he roared right in my ear. And yeah, I'm gonna be deaf for a fucking week.
I laugh if he goes back up there to see Rathalos again. Yep. There he is. Thanks, Rathalos. You're a real pal. Oh, boy. Dino Dork's coming after me. Or maybe not. I actually really like the fact that they they added in the uh, the monster like their their interactions with one another. I find that really cool and really interesting. Mr. T-Rex is dead! Thank you, Japanese players. So with that, we can now hunt the... Uh, Mr. Uh, T-Rex here. That's what I'm going to call him from now on, Mr. T-Rex, because that's what he is. He's a T-Rex. There's no denying that. He's a fucking T-Rex. So, we've hunted a T-Rex, and we've hunted the Kanashi creature. So, I think that's actually a good point for me, that I can, um... That I can now start hunting uh, higher monsters. Oh yeah, and we hunted the other one in the last episode too. <clears throat> so I believe in the next episode uh, we're going to get into more of the... Uh, the more dangerous monsters of Monster Hunter. I'm going to need to upgrade my armor set. And to do that, I'm going to need to do quite a lot of quests. <clears throat> but I'm also going to get some of the other armors as well. Some of the uh, T-Rex bah, T -Rex armors. So yeah, that should be, that should be good. That T-Rex fight took up the entire fucking video. <laughs> Gather around, people. We have much to discuss. I wish that that hadn't have taken up the whole video, 
because there was so much more that I wanted to do, but the video's running on for 42 minutes. Yeah, that thing took half an hour to kill. Because I didn't have a team right off the bat. All our preparations are complete. And I have all of you to thank for working double time to make it happen. I'm especially impressed with the fifth for hunting the Anjanath despite being new here. That's one less misery standing between us and capturing Zora Magnaros. Well done. When will Zora reach the Great Ravine? Precisely at daybreak. Good. Let's run through the operation one last time then. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast appears, the operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. Your objective is to stop it at the first barrier, initially wearing it down with cannon and ballista fire, then restrain it with binders. However, there is a chance it will break through. If so, we'll initiate the mounting phase of the operation. During this phase, we'll attempt to weaken it further, so that we'll have a better chance of restraining it at the second barrier. Make sure you hammer it as much as possible with cannons and ballista. They're there for a reason. Affirmative, sir. Technicians, make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Quartermasters, conduct an inventory on our supplies. Researchers, proceed to the Great Ravine with your escort as soon as you're ready. We can't bring our quarry back to base, so take what you need and be prepared to conduct your research on site. Don't worry, Commander. Everything will be in order. Keep your ears open during the operation. I'll be giving orders as the situation unfolds. May the Sapphire Star light your way. Dismissed! Wow! The big moment is finally here. I'm shaking up a storm here. How about you? You honestly think cannonballs are going to hurt that fucking thing? It's the size of a goddamn mountain. Plus, the, the freaking armor on his back is hard as rock. It's like volcanic uh, obsidian. Volcanic obsidian. Yeah, that makes total sense. It's like obsidian. So... Let's head in here. Let's forge some equipment. I want to see what the Aginath set looks like. So, let's preview it. Aginath power. What's this? Temporarily reduces stamina depletion when health is at 40% or lower. It says Marathon Runner, special ammo boost, fire resistance, and artillery. Let's see, artillery strengthens explosive attacks like gunlance shells, wyverns fire, charge blade. File attacks and sticky ammo. Ooh. <clears throat> oh my god, that is brutal for freaking Lance. Increases the power of Bowgun Special Ammo and Dragon Piercer by 20%. Dude, that is broken, man. Dragon ammo, I believe in past Monster Hunter games, you could only carry three because it was so powerful. Okay, let's see what the Kadashi set looks like. That's actually a pretty cool looking set, I'm not gonna lie. I really would like that. Let's see, Thunder Resistance... Thunder Attack, Evade Extender, Jump Master, and Construction? Let's see what the skill does. 
Reduces fixed stamina depletion. Reduces stamina depletion when performing stamina draining moves. Oh man, do I want that skill. Jump master. Negates knock knock back. Ah. Okay. This is actually a really good skill. Greatly extends evasion distance. This skill is fucking amazing. So I definitely want to get that armor when I get the chance to. <clears throat> so it looks like I need to hunt a Kadashi and a Anja. Uh, Anjana. Toby Kadashi. <laughs> you know, um, I think that I'm going to end the episode here. So let's take a look at the new quest here. So we're going to have to fight the Anjanath. But we are going to do that next time. So for now... Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget, if you like the video, be sure to SMASH that like button! And I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, my channel mascot is right up to the top left. If you hover your mouse over him, he'll give you a subscribe button to click, or you can subscribe down below if you would like to see more from me. Over to the right is the playlist, below that is a video I've most recently uploaded, and to the left of that is a video that YouTube recommends. So anyways guys, take care and happy hunting.